Hello everyone and welcome back. One of the most common comments under my Northern Lights pictures from Iceland on my Instagram is how lucky I was that I was actually able to see them. Whereas the vast majority of people come back home from trips to places like Iceland or Norway and are disappointed because they're saying they always saw a cloud. And if they, you are one of those unlucky people, what if I told you that you may have actually seen the Northern Lights but you just weren't looking? Let me explain. Human vision works like this. The rays of light travel through our pupils and are projected by the eye lens onto our retinas. The retina works in a similar way than a camera sensor. It is covered by photosensitive tissue and this tissue when exposed to light generates electrical neural impulses and there are two types of photosensitive tissue in our retinas. One of them is called rods and the other one is called cones. Rods provide us the ability to see shapes and layout of objects and also peripheral vision. But I don't see color, whereas cones can recognize color, but they are way less sensitive to light than rods. And if you take a look at this chart, right here, if it's bright enough and both rods and cones function properly, we see colorful objects just like we used to. And if it's dark enough and the rods still function properly, but the cones start to struggle, we start seeing things more desaturated or even monochrome. And also the human eye can adapt to low light. And the way it works is that the more time we spend in a dark area, the sensitivity of both rods and cones increases over time. And if you take a look at this chart, up here is low sensitivity and down here is high sensitivity. When the time passes, the sensitivity of cones stops around here in the middle, but the sensitivity of rods goes way down below towards high. Now, have you ever woken up in the middle of the night in your apartment and trying to find your way to the bathroom without turning on the lights. Well, unless you have some light proof drapes or something, you probably had no problems finding your way to the bathroom. You could see the shapes of objects and the layout of the furniture, but you weren't seeing things in color. And the same phenomenon actually occurs, for instance, if you take a look at the night sky through a telescope. For instance, the Orion Nebula, if you look it up on the internet, you can see it like this, which is vivid and colorful with red and violet shades. Whereas if you look at it through a telescope with your own eye, all you see is just some bright spots. And this is because we just can't see the color that is there. But the cameras, however, have no problems recognizing the color even in low light. The thing about modern lights is that they don't appear on the night sky every night, but when they do, they vary in brightness. They can be very bright, where you can clearly see their color with your own eyes, but sometimes they are dim and they appear to be gray and they look something like clouds or fog or something like this. Now, am I saying that all the time you were complaining that you were seeing clouds? You may have actually seen the northern lights, but you just didn't know about it? Well, it's possible. Let's jump into Lightroom and let me show you an example. This is an image I have taken in Iceland, just outside of Reykjavik. This is the Grotta lighthouse, which is reflecting nicely in this nearby lake. And this is a raw image straight out of the camera. You can clearly see the green shade of the northern lights up here. But the way I was seeing it that night is something like this. It's very dark and the northern lights don't appear to be green at all. It's just this gray smudge in the sky. I wasn't sure if it's fog or clouds or anything like this. Up until I have taken the picture and I saw something like this in the back of my camera. Actually, with a little bit of editing here in Lightroom, I was able to come up with this final image. Pretty awesome, right? And if you look at the pictures of the Northern Lights on my Instagram, most of them were pretty dim and only after I have taken the picture I was able to clearly see their shapes. My advice is that if you're seeing on the sky something that may be the northern lights but you're not sure, just take a picture of it. It doesn't have to be dark sharp or in extra focus. You will clearly be able to assess the color of it. And if it turns out to be the northern lights, then set up a tripod, think about camera settings and everything and set up for a shoot. Now, I will be creating another video where I actually share some tips and recommendations of how to actually photograph the northern lights, what camera settings to use, etc. what things to look out for. If you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. It will bring a smile on my face and basically motivate me to create new awesome content on YouTube. Now, what are you waiting for? Book a ticket to Iceland and take some great shots of the Northern Lights. 
See you next time. Bye.